Yo, everybody, it's Whamma Dave. Now that Cup Size MMA has no Dana White Contender Series to pick for you, we're going to be recapping the fights on Sunday. So let's get into it. Two, UFC 268. What a great card, man. I had a lot of fun watching this one. My heart felt like it was going to beat out of my chest about 15 times. But first of all, let's go over our picks for this week. The Aquagon and Bad Bitch Bets were just completely on fire. If you were betting with us, you were making a ton of money. I mean, I came at you right off the rip on Bad Bitch Bets with the Trevor Whitman parlay. We we had Gaethje, Rose, Usman. That paid almost three to one. That thing hit. I mean, we had to really sweat that one out. Those were three scary fights, man. But I knew that was going to cash for us. And uh, if you were watching anything, you knew I was heavy, heavy, heavy on Thug Rose. Uh, in the past, I had made my biggest bet in MMA history when she uh, won the belt back from Wei Ling the first time with that head kick. And I knew that she was going to do it again. I mean, a little bit scary watching that fight. But you got to take it from the champ. And uh, I think she had that fight one man but uh, top to bottom this card was great 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 man um i think i was on the wrong side you know i was a little high on ally quinta and uh billy q i thought one of those could get it done um billy q man i, I was kind of surprised that everybody thought shane burgos won that fight so handily i mean billy q brought it to him i mean he did just like i said i said shane burgos is going to be like a punching bag to this guy he always gets hit a lot and uh man just these these chins on these guys all night long um especially burgos um especially everybody but these these chins on these guys i cannot believe i'm watching these guys heads get snapped back over and over and over and no one's dying i mean what what are they put in the water in new york yesterday night man it just was insane but anyways uh yeah billy q um, I thought he did enough to win in my eyes. I was I was betting with him, so I was probably a little biased, but uh good fight nonetheless. Uh Shane Burgos lost uh broke his two loss losing streak with a good win there. Um but Gaethje and Chandler. I see uh Stewart was trying to get me off of Alad Quinta. He had Bobby Green and I was trying to get him off of um Michael Chandler, I had Justin Gaethje. Uh, you know, that's one of his favorite fighters in Michael Chandler, and he just wouldn't get off it. And what a war that was. These guys are completely insane, man. I can't believe either of them made it through that fight. It was just fireworks from start to finish, just like expected. Fight of the year, fight of the century, fight of the deck. I mean, anything you can do, this was fight of. Uh, really great fight. Uh, we gave you Marlon Vera. Um, looked a little sketchy in the beginning with Marlon Vera. I actually live bet Marlon Vera again while he was the underdog after the first round. I think I got it like plus 145. Um, DraftKings was doing a live bet boost, so I hit that again. Marlon Vera cashed in pretty good for us. Rose Naman Jesus versus Wei Leje. Holy shit, that was a war. Uh, man, Wei Lee looks really good. I'm afraid to see her after another uh, couple camps with Henry Cejudo. Um, I don't think Thug Rose is going to want much of that after uh, a few more camps there. But Rose did what it, she needed to do to get that one done last night. And, and still... Speaking of Ann Still, Kamar Usman and Kofi Covington. I told you that line was wrong, man. They had Usman at three to one favorite over Covington, and Covington just showed you what's up, man. This guy is just a centimeter below Usman when it came to that fight. I mean, Usman had a little bit of the power advantage, I think, but dude, that guy doesn't die. That guy comes at you. Uh, I think he had Kamara wobbled a couple of times a couple of times i feel like kamara was kind of leaning back with those punches getting some head movement and a little, few of those looked a little bit tougher than they were a little bit harder snap than what they really were on tv and uh what a great fight though uh, i was really sweating it out you know that was the last leg of my trevor whitman three-person parlay and uh you know it cashed so i was feeling really good about it but man can we do something about these these refs i don't want to really harp on these refs but man what a great 25-minute fight between Kamar Usman and Kobe Covington. And he gets, uh, Covington gets his eye poked. Then Murgat is in his face to, trying to coach him up. Oh, I can't say that. You know, all right, the fights, re, you know, start, they start the fight back up. 40 seconds left in the fight. These guys went to war for 25 minutes. They want to embrace and set of the cage, you know, settle their differences, hash it out. What else can they do? They punch each other in the face for 25 minutes. What else is there to do? They want to chat it out a little bit. He has the audacity to tell them that they can kiss each other later. Does this guy want his little two, uh, five seconds in the spotlight when the camera's on him? These guys are the two best fighters in the UFC, and they want to have a moment. Give them 30 more seconds, dude. They're not going to talk for fucking 20 minutes in that cage, and you want to get a little bit of shine saying you can kiss each other later? That's homophobic, too. I mean, come on. 
get with it, man. Cancel, Nurgle out his ass. And I'm not a big cancel culture guy, so that's obviously a joke. But geez, man, get a get a break. Give these guys a break. They just went to war. But anyways, man, I uh, hope you guys were betting with us. We were cashing a lot of tickets this week. Um, I think uh, bad bitch bait, uh, bad bitch Kate uh, did cash in DraftKings. Um, she wasn't too high ranked though. You know, a few a few of these underdogs that we thought were going to hit didn't hit. Um, I think Hawes. If you had if you had Hawes's opponent. Curtis, I think that's when you were doing really good in the DraftKings. Um, I didn't, I didn't really see that when I stayed away from Hawes for the whole, for the whole uh, card. I didn't put him in any of my parlays. Like I was thinking, I might just too big a favorite, too much of a risk. But I, you know, I wasn't on Chris Curtis saying he was my underdog of the week or anything like that. But overall, a lot of good fights. Um, this the new Cup Size MMA is going to be reviewing the fights from. Saturday until Dana White's Contender Series comes back out. Uh, we can't wait for that. Uh, you know, I gave you a bunch of winners on Dana White's Contender Series, um, especially in the like the middle and beginning of the season. I was on complete fire. I uh, kind of tailed off at the end there, but we're going to be trying our hardest, man. I'm breaking down these fights. I'm taking about an hour each fight to break these guys down for you, even if I don't even know them. So when we're winning a bunch of money over here, we're up, up, up. So cup size MMA right here. Don't forget, Wednesday's... The Aquagon, that's when we break down the full card for all our favorite bets for Saturday night. Bad Bitch Bets, that's when we break down the weigh-ins. We look at the press conferences. We look at all the micro-interactions between these fighters. They're giving you a lot of information when they're standing next to each other, and you can see what the weight cut did to them. You can see how their camp went. You can see a lot of things when you dissect those interactions pre-fight. Day of watching the countdown, seeing what they're doing behind the scenes. You can see a lot in that. And uh, we're trying to bring that to you, trying to give you a little bit of edge on these betting lines. Uh, we're trying to beat Vegas over here. Uh, you know, we're, we're barely squeezing by. We're trying to do it. We're up, up, up. But man, you know, football season's in full swing. I don't know much about football, and I bet it. So I got to lose my money at football, win it back at MMA. Hope you're not doing the same thing as me. I hope you're just winning, man. Uh, hit that like button if you're still with me, and see ya. Yeah.